Hey, what's up, guys? It's Clayton J. We're back with another YouTube video. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? We got Toppy J on the floor right there. That's how we do it. Um, so I decided to vlog today. Um, yeah, because I had therapy today. This week, you know what I was going to say? This week has been a long week, and I just realized it's Tuesday today. <laughs> it's been a long week, though. A lot's happened this week, and I just I feel like I do it to myself. I put all this pressure on myself, and it's it's my day off, and it's... 11.45. I'm making some eggs, which I really need to watch it. Making some eggs. Um, I need my protein, and I, I just haven't I haven't ate all day. Um, I've just been stressing myself out a lot lately. Um, I've been stressing myself out a lot lately. And uh, I'm realizing I am doing it to myself because I keep... Sometimes I, I get into this mindset where I do want to be better and keep thinking about the future and try to get myself financially stable for the future, try to get my life looking perfect for the future, and then I do for, which is a great thing. It's a great thing to have a long-term mindset, but also I, then I forget to live in the present moment and I forget to enjoy life right now. Um, so I'm really trying to like enjoy it. Like right now I'm, I'm, I'm watching um, Van Life. I used to love that and that is my dream to Van Life, but I don't remember the last time I actually watched a video of Van Life. Like this is my dream. I would love to Van Life someday, you know? Um, but I don't remember the last time I watched one, and I think that's because, like, I'm too busy trying to become better, um, for some reason, which I do understand having a good mindset and becoming better, but then sometimes I get too focused on becoming better that I forget to just realize that I'm a human and I make mistakes, and to embrace the mistakes and still love yourself, you know? So, that's what I'm learning right now. Um, yeah, you guys are coming on along the day with me and my boy Toppy. Hey, baby. He's just a baby! Toppy. How are you? She's got her brother ready. I forgot to record, but we just got done. Oh, we're, we're at the state park. Uh, we just got done, like, doing a trail. Running a trail because boy was hyped up and ready to go. Not because I wanted to, because boy wanted to. And, um, yeah, I realized, yeah, going outside, getting some fresh air, like, not gonna lie, at the beginning of the day, I was a little depressed. I was just, like I said, it's been a long week. Um, even though today's Tuesday, <laughs> it's been a long couple days, okay? Um, and today's my day off, and usually I kind of just stay inside and be depressed. But I'm proud of myself for actually coming out and doing something, uh, because I feel a lot better just being out here with my boy Top. Um, yeah, I got, today, what do I got going on? Um, I'm out here at the state park with my dog. We've been out here for probably an hour now. Um, we're far away from our car. And, um, later I got a meeting with my mentor. But that's 8 o'clock tonight, so, and right now it's only 1 o'clock. Gotta go get my tea shot, even though my testosterone shot day is, uh, Tuesday. It is wet Sunday, and today is Tuesday, my bad. But, Better that better later than never. I'm out of breath. I think my boy Top's out of breath. I'm really happy that I actually chose to go outside. And it's so funny because this is the state park, and it's funny that like I live like 10 minutes away from this place. I could come every day, but I don't. And it's funny how like easy it is to be addictive to bad things, toxic things such as uh, the internet, <laughs> my phone. Um, even though like. It's literally scientifically proven that, like, being on your phone 24-7, being on social media and judging yourself compared to, like, I, I don't use Facebook at all. Um, here and there, I might, like, check the, check, like, if I really want to get something, I'm like, I don't want to, I'd rather just get, get it off Facebook market. Here and there, I might check Facebook market. But the reason why I don't like Facebook is, like, I have everyone from school on there. Some people are married, you know? Some people are younger than me that I went to school with who are married, and I'm like, why am I not married, you know? But at the end of the day, I didn't realize that, like, it's just not my time. Like, just because they're married, I'm probably better on my fitness journey, right? I, I can run. Can they run? You know, like, like I need to stop being like, oh, they're married, because that, that's awesome. So obviously, I really want love in my life, and I really want to get married, and I can't wait. Toppy, Toppy said he wants he wants a second parent. He's out of it, though. That's what I love. He's going to sleep well. Um, but, like, that's why I don't use Facebook, is because some people are married. Some people move the state. I would love to move the state. I just... I. I just can't right now. You know, I got a lot going on and I can't move the state right now. Um, I have so much things I want to do and it's like, 
I feel like I compare myself of where I am compared to where another person I went to school with. That's why I do not use Facebook at all. And YouTube, I love using YouTube. I don't know, it just, and it's funny because like, just 30 minutes a day, come outside, an hour a day. I, I live 10 minutes away from the state park. It's really nice, there's water, you can play in water. Topper loves it. I just don't go and I don't know why. When this, literally I feel so much better. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I woke up very, very depressed, not in the best mood, uh, very down, and just very sad. And then I came out here and I feel a lot better now. You know, I'm gonna go to, it's two o'clock, I'm gonna go to Walmart, I'm gonna get my testosterone, gonna get some Topper's food, go get me some food, try to eat something healthy. Um, get home probably by three, four o'clock, because it takes me forever somehow in Walmart. I don't know how. Uh, can I go down every single aisle? So, um, it's funny. I'm like the more, the most I'm, every time I like, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so let me update you guys of what I did. Okay, so I slept for like two hours. It happens. Uh, but I'm actually proud. I felt like it was well-deserved sleep too. time. You feel me? So, what I've done in the last, since, since me and Top went out is, can I put you somewhere? Let me put you here. First of all, I got this from the store uh, today. I have, it's not even open. Uh, we'll see if it works. But, uh, what I get to, come on, don't I look stacked though? Like, comment down below, I feel like I look very stacked. Like, I look good, but somehow I, I feel like a little wimp. Don't I look stacked a little bit? Or no? I feel like I look stacked, but I'm not. Like, I actually have no muscles, which I'm really sad about, but I'm trying. I'm actually trying to eat. I, I actually went to, not gonna lie, today I went to the grocery store. Haven't went to the grocery store in three months. I, I don't eat anymore. I really don't. I, what really happens is, I mean, I do eat my, like, bars from my business and stuff. And I'll take, like, I'll all that you know i take my supplements i take my bars i drink my protein shakes for my company so i do that in the mornings uh and then in the afternoons i either i always forget to bring my lunch now so i just eat somewhere quick and then and then that's good for supper i don't have supper and i feel like it's really taking a toll on my body so as in i'm getting very i'm getting too skinny that i'm getting pretty scared you know and so i really do need to take more care of food like working out wise i feel like i do get enough work as in i'm more of a runner too so of course i'm gonna be slim slim thick with your cute ass because i'm a runner um that's the only thing i hate about being a runner i just feel like a weakling because i'm a runner my legs look good though if you want to see that subscribe <laughs> okay so i've been reading the other two books i got from the library yeah i who who why was no one telling me that we have a library in town no, I'm kidding. I knew I had a library. I just started actually being a customer at the library. Well, it's not really a customer because the library is free. I just want to understand how the library works. How the hell is everything free there? That's the question. Like, is there a donation? Can I donate? Because I feel like the people there are just so nice. And, like, are they getting paid or are they working there for free? I'm, I'm so confused how libraries work. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I got this book, uh, which is How to Be in an Adult. How, how to be an adult in relationships. No one nowadays as adults understand how to be in a relationship and it's kind of embarrassing. So at least I'm gonna do the work to be a great partner to someone, you know? So I like that. The five, uh, the five keys to mindful loving. And it literally talks about, <clears throat> the one thing I like, it's not, just, it's not just telling you how to do it. It's actually telling you how to overcome fear of abandonment, which I have that, you know? Like, um, it's, it's telling you about avoidance, it's telling you about anxious attachment styles, you know, it's telling you about love language, it's telling you how to create and maintain healthy boundaries with no one has nowadays, you know, I just, you know, it's just telling you all these kind of things. Um, it's also just telling you that, like, there's fa different phases in, in love, and uh, I feel like a lot of people think that love is a feeling when love's actually a choice. You know, like they're always like, oh, that tingly feeling. I have that tingly feeling every single day because I'm, I have anxiety, you know? I don't like that feeling. I want to not feel that feeling, you know? So I, I at least know that, that that anxiety feeling is not love, but a lot of people are like, ooh, it's love. No, it's not. It's it's either excitement or anxiety. Uh, so I really like this book because it's, it's teaching me like what real love is and real love takes work. It takes effort. It takes two people, not just one person for a real love to work. And real love's a choice. You choose someone. You know, I can't wait to have someone choose me every single day. I can't wait to choose someone every single day. Just like Topper. Me and Topper have our arguments. He likes to wake me up. 
way too early. And it pisses me off. But I choose them every day. I choose them over any other dog in the entire world. Uh, then I have this book. This book's the one I'm actually, like, really focused on. Because that one's cool. But I also am not in a relationship. So, like, uh, like I care about it. But I also, yeah, I don't know. This book is uh, Getting Back to Happy. And it's actually really good because what I've read so far, I've only read nine pages, which I'm still really proud of myself because I used to never read and I'm doing really good. It's, it's teaching me how to uh, have rituals, right? There's a difference between having goals and having rituals. The reason why sometimes we focus on our goals too much, like I realize why my goals are not sticking. Right? I want to run every single day, but I'm too focused on the goal that I like keep letting myself down compared to having a ritual, like having like a calm ritual, like like kind of like a routine, a ritual like a routine. They like to use the word ritual and like implement it into their life. And it, I don't know, it's it's really cool the way they know, uh, the way they're teaching it and the way they think about it, where it's like implement it into your routine. Instead of thinking like, I wanna run, instead of being like, I'm gonna run every day one mile and I have to get under six minutes, right? Something like, that is me, that's the way I think. Even with like my ankle sore and hurts from Ninja, that's why I'm thinking, I'm like, I literally get mad if it's not, at least if it's not under, eight mile, eight minutes, eight minute mile. I get really, I get kind of mad. And at the end of the day, how, what they're teaching me is don't make that goal. Don't make that perfection goal. Make it as you at least went out there. Even if you ran a mile in 15 minutes, you at least are doing better than sitting at home. You know, just making a ritual of getting up. Don't, don't add what time yet. I, Cause I just started running again for, from a while because it's summer. So I just started actually running again because in the winter, obviously I don't really run. I could run on a treadmill. I just, I hate running in place. Um, but it's kind of something like that. The reason why people get fed up with goals and stuff is they set a, a goal or a real, like a, a, a goal that's not realistic as in like, I have to get another six minute mile where it's like, some days I don't feel like running at least maybe I'll just run and be like, if I run a mile, I run a mile. If I run a half mile, I run a half mile. You know, I always run a mile at least, but if I run a mile, I try to sprint it, but I'm not a sprinter. So of course I would rather run longer distance in less time than run a mile because I'm not a sprinter even though I do want to be a sprinter but that's for something else but I also love doing my handstands right now so I'm gonna do one for you okay you ready no I'm getting better I'm also a little nervous right here to do a handstand because I have so much things I can literally just hit um, so that's also one thing I think I do better when I'm at Ninja with an open floor. Um, but yeah, yeah. Move, move top here. Let me do it again. Get up, up. Thank you. You ready? Oh, that was decent. Oh, oh you guys just saw my dogs for free. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny as hell. Um, Topper, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Come here. Lay down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys see his little nubby shaking? <laughs> Topper. The camera's right there. You gotta look good for the camera. You ready? You ready? You ready? <sighs> Smile. Got him in a headlock. Mm. I love you. All right, go play. Um. Okay. So now, wow, my hair is crazy right now. Just act like it's not, okay? <laughs> um, hey, Topper, go, go, come on. Stay. Um, right now, it. I think last time I updated you guys, it was a Tuesday. Today's Sunday, so it's been it's been the week, and it's been a crazy week, busy week, um, stressful week. <sighs> yeah been pretty stressful but uh it's fine it's fine we're trying to get better we're trying to do things we're good uh i want to do my handstands for you again so yeah let's see okay you ready Topper, go up stay Ugh. can't stay in one place Yeah, dude, I love doing pull-ups. They're just the easy. I just love my pull-up bar too. I just like to. I I love that thing. Love it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a back uh, a back bend. I think that's what you call it. 
Um, I'm scared. Don't judge me. Here it goes. Nope. I'm scared. Damn. I did it the other way, day at open gym. Remember, failure. That's what we were talking about in this. Failure is good. It's fine. And you can see I'm psyching myself out. I can do it. I know. Failure is fine. It's fine. We'll get it. I'm gonna do it off the wall. Alright. Let's do it from the wall. How far do I go from here? So I can do it off the wall. Easily. Right, Tabby. Right, Tabby. So, um, yeah, but failure is good. That's, what we're, that's literally what this whole video is about, is that failure is good. The only way we can go from here is up. So I just need to keep practicing. We're okay. We're okay, right, Tabby? We're okay. We got to start somewhere, right? High five. High five. Yes, good boy. Mwah. Good boy. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh, that was so scary. That was so scary. I did it. This is what I'm talking about. Having goals and failing until you succeed, like, it just, now I feel great. Like, did you not just see that? That was crazy. And I know to you guys, it looks like this is another, like, it was too, like, it looks like I just redid it, but it's been, like, 30 minutes since I last did it. Yeah. Obviously, in camera, it was two seconds. But, wow. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Come on, come on, up top, come on. Let's go, let's go, boy. <sighs> what up, guys? Clay here and queer. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, so um yeah it's it's sunday now it's it's literally been forever since i saw you guys um what's up what's up what's good what do you guys think about my hair my hair is a little goofy woofy but i'll just give you a little 360. i have me wanted to get a haircut but when i get a haircut i just let i just make them shave here so do i really want to pay like literally like 80 bucks yeah because usually I get a haircut and a beard trim, but like my be I just trimmed my beard recently. It's not bad. Like I did it myself. I just cut. I um, so I want to talk about the book. I'm reading this book. Wow, dude. You know what's crazy? Go back and watch. Go back and watch my videos. Day one. Watch 2018, 2019 video of me, and look at the video of me now. I read fucking books. Those two books were for the library. This book is from uh, my mentor, who is like, is. It's, tell, it's recommending me to read books, uh, like, like, mindset books, you know, uh, discipline books, because, like, you need to get better. The only way to be successful in life is to discipline yourself and understand that you do have freedom, but sometimes freedom can distract you, right? As in, like, you could, on the weekend, you could do things that, like, you could run, you could... You could run, you could get into a routine, you could clean your house, you could take your dog out, you could read, uh, do all that kind of stuff, right? Like like reading for your mind, running for your body, like your physical health, uh, taking care of yourself, shaving, um, taking your dog out, or you could go out and party till 5 a.m. in the morning. Which one is gonna, which, one's, which one are you avoiding? 
life and which one are you growing in life? You know, like stuff like that. Um, I get really passionate on topics like this and I want to discuss this book, The Slight Edge. I am only on chapter, I just finished chapter three and what it's pretty much talking about as in he's just an average guy. Everyone is the same. He's pretty much saying that like me and I don't know, like me and a multimillionaire like 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 Jeff Bezos, we are the same. We are both humans. We are both made out of the same stuff. There is no difference. I mean, yeah, I guess background, right? Like the way he grew up, he would probably, I don't know, I haven't done any research of him, but he probably was grown up in a financially wealthy and healthy family compared to someone like me who is adopted into a family, a dysfunctional family who I don't even see, I haven't even seen in six years. You know, so hey, there is a difference, but I can still be just like him. It's a mindset thing. It's it's growing. It's it's disciplining yourself and realizing that you can avoid life and avoid things and not grow and go party every night and drink alcohol to avoid your pain and and avoid your and, and be like oh I just do it to build more confident. Maybe just learn how to be more confident. You know. So I get topic on topics like this. Like I hate when people are like I just socially drink because like I can't like. It just makes me more of a social person. Well, maybe just learn social skills. There's books about it. There's podcasts about it. You could just go up in person and just say hi to someone at the park. You know, like, do you think I had the social skills when I grew up? No, I've, I've built the social skills by talking to people and just doing stuff, you know, and making YouTube. I think YouTube has really built my social skills. Even though I'm talking to a camera, I love to talk now. I know how to talk. I know how to come up with things right away, all that kind of stuff because of filming in a video, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it's pretty much, yeah, to talk about you can be the bum or you can be a millionaire. It's up to you. Everyone in this world is built the same. We are the same. We might have came up in with different, different, uh, in a different background. But at the end of the day, if you do the work, that's why I go to therapy. That's why I'm getting the help I need uh, for my mental health, my physical health. All right, guys. Um, so new day. This is actually me editing, but like I wanted to record really quick because uh, I could uh, that clip was like 50,000 hours long but I want to shorten it down pretty much just say like I'm very passionate on growing and becoming the best version of myself and just like trying to learn from situations because I feel like I go through things you know like bad friendships breakups or regular like relationship uh, breakups or a uh, job like getting a new job and I don't ever like back in the day, I didn't reflect on it. Like, why did I not like this job? Why do I want a new job? Why did this friendship not work? Why are they not good for me? Why is this relationship not work? What, what are the cycles that I am repeating? And that's what life's about is realizing the cycles you're in and um, changing it. And also trying to implement daily tasks to make yourself better, such as like, and knowing that like short term gratification is not gonna get you nowhere, right? Like after you do something short term, it's fun, right? Like even getting on your phone, it's so much fun for two seconds, right? Uh, but after you get off, you're like, oh, I'm bored. Like, oh, I, I, you know, like all that kind of happens compared to like YouTube, right? I've been doing this for like five years. I hit 20,000 followers and I'm so excited. But I didn't do that overnight. I did that in five, six years, okay? You see like, like real success and like fulfillment and just happiness and like everything happens with long term, you know, relationships. It doesn't like it, it, there's going to be bickering. There's going to be trying to figure out each other. But long term, you're going to figure out how to find success. Same with friendships. Same with same with like jobs. Same with, you know, like YouTube. Like I started, I, I, I had like a love hate relationship for YouTube. I'm like, oh, I'm doing good. Oh, I'm doing bad. I'm getting negative comments. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, that. But look, I hit 20,000 followers. So I'm, I'm, I'm going up. And I'm happy and I'm proud of my success on YouTube. And we're just going to keep going from that and just trying to love life and trying to just be the best version of myself. And, you know, I like to spread my stuff onto the people watching my channel because uh, that's what this channel is about is like my perspective on life and, journey, and my journey on life. And, um, yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for 20,000 followers. Uh, it means a lot. Please comment, you know, if you guys been here. Tell me how long you guys been here. Uh, tell me guys if you made it to the end, you know. Um, I just appreciate everything. This channel is the one thing that I'm at, I've am i actually sticked for five years, you know. 
like a lot of things I do like quit, right? Like jobs, I quit jobs or whatever, or I were friends since five years. The people I was, was hanging out with even two years, one year ago, I'm not hanging out with them anymore, you know? Two years ago, like, so the, it's, it's so crazy how like, I, I'm sticking with something. And finally, I'm sticking with something, right? Like YouTube, even though I'm not posting consistently, um, just seeing the progress from the years is like, wow. Like you can see the change, the change in me, my mindset change, uh, my physical change, like just everything. And it's, it's awesome. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for being here on my journey and my channel and just in life and, uh, comment down below a little bit about your life, a little bit about yourself. You know, I like to actually like hear a little bit about my, uh, people watching because it like makes me feel like we're a community instead of like, Oh, you guys are just following me. Oh, you guys are my fans. I'm the king and you guys are just, no, I like it more like we're a community, right? We, we, we do this together. Um, so Love you guys.